welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code this side so yet welcome to yet another lecture of binary tree so the problem for the day is subtree of another tree we will discuss this problem in the video the problem is actually simple you have been provided with the root suppose this is your root and this is your sub root right okay now you have to tell me whether the tree represented by this root this root it does contain a subtree which is equivalent to this does contain a subtree which is equivalent to this subtree right now you can see the subtree is 4 1 2 i want to find exactly similar structure i want to find exactly similar structure what do i mean by exactly similar structure value should be same and the connection should be same so if i try to find a sub a subtree some same in this so what can i say this this subtree is actually the same this subtree is actually the same this 4 1 2 is actually matching with this 4 1 2 right so in this case i will be returning true for this example but if the root given to me is this one i will not return true in this case i will return false why some of you will say that hey still 412 is part of this tree right but i will say no 412 is there i agree with you but this two has a left as zero but this two has a left as null they should match exactly like this they should match exactly like this if this zero was not there it could have been an answer but now it is not an answer so i will be turning false in this case i will be returning false in this case right so you have to return true if you find any sub t equivalent to this tree something like this okay now how will you solve it how will you solve it so the prerequisite for this video is the previously posted video about identical trees so i hope you have watched that if not please go through and go through it and watch that identical trees right so the identical trees problem was about uh, telling me whether the two trees given to me are identical or not right whether the two trees given to me are identical or not suppose this is the given tree to me 412 this is root 1 and 412 this is root 2 in this case this identical trees problem will return me true but if something like this was there it will return false right this was the whole concept of identical trees if you have not watched the video if you are not about, aware about the algorithm please go through it just type mass code identical trees i think that it should come up otherwise you can follow the playlist as well right now how will you solve this question subtree now i have given you a hint that i will be using identical trees how will you solve it using this okay again my mantra for binary trees traversals whenever i see a question of binary tree traversal so the hint one is traversal hint two is identical trees and these are the only two hints you want to you want to get for this particular problem what is my approach to this particular problem is that i want to find a subtree my objective my objective to find a subtree equivalent to the subroot right equivalent to the subroot given to me how can i say how can i say now the subtree which i am going to find an answer will have a root will have a root this subtree will have a root what if i find a root if if i'm able to find a root i will return true if i'm not able to find a root in the whole subtree i will return false right if i'm able to find a root such that this subtree is equivalent to this subroot i will return true any one i want only one otherwise i will return false this is my approach now how can i do it so my approach will be to explore all the roots all the potential roots explore all potential roots all potential roots if any one is identical to subroot is identical to subroot return true return true that is my approach that is my approach now first step was to explore how will you explore how will you explore all the potential roots that is you have to visit each and every node for that you will use traversal that that will that is the position that will cause you to use traversal so the traversal suppose i take the pre order traversal i take pre order traversal so how my algorithm works uh, for as, as far you know pre order is root left right root left right so my algorithm will work something like this for the given root and the given subroot my algorithm works like this i will come to 3 i will land on 3 i will explore 3 i will check if 3 this 3 is actually equal to this 4 if it is not you can see it is not identical so what will i do i will go to 4 i will check is 4 equivalent to this 4 yes it is equivalent so i will be turning true right but if this is my root and this is my subroot then what will happen 
थ्री एक्सप्लोर्ड विथ फोर फॉल्स फोर एक्सप्लोर्ड विथ फॉल्स फोर फॉल्स वन एक्सप्लोर्ड विथ फोर फॉल्स टू एक्सप्लोर्ड विथ फोर फॉल्स जीरो एक्सप्लोर्ड विथ फोर फॉल्स फाइव एक्सप्लोर्ड विथ फोर फॉल्स अगेन All the cases, all the trees are, all the roots are actually, all the nodes are actually turning false. So I will give a correct decision of false. Otherwise, if any one of them, suppose here, it is returning true, so I will be returning true. I just mean one sub tree. That is my technique, traverse. That is, what will I do? Suppose my function is f, calling for root and sub root. I have got this as an input. What will happen now? I will say if identical. Suppose the function name is identical. root and sub root return true otherwise if root left and sub root the identical function called on root left and sub root then return true if this returns true if this identical returns true then return true otherwise check for left if identical of root left then sub root Return true. This will be a recursion call. This will be a recursion call, right? Okay. So now it is time for us. You can see instead of identical, you can also use f, so that it will be a recursion call, right? F and f will call identical again and again, again and again, again and again, right? So this is my actual code. You can see the recursion. The thing of traversal comes something like this. You can see I explored the root first, then I went to left, then I went to right. This is right. Sorry, this is right. Then I went to right. This is the whole thing you have to do for the binary trees, and let us now try to move towards the coding area. All right, guys. So here we are in the coding section. Now I've already copy pasted the code for identical trees. This was discussed in the previous video, so please follow along it. Right now, what will I do? I will just try to write down a recursion code here. What will happen? I will first explore the the current case. I will first explore the current case. That is, if is same of root with the given sub root. Straight away return true. Straight away return true. Otherwise, call the same function for that is if is subtree of root left of root left with the same sub root return true. Otherwise, if is subtree that is same function for root right with the sub root again return true. Otherwise, if all the three cases are failing, that is neither the left sub tree is giving me true, neither the current sub tree is giving me true, neither the right sub tree is giving me true. In that case, it turns false. I don't have any other option, right? Let us try to compile and run it. Hope it will work fine. Should not give any error. Oh, it, there is some error. Is same. Oh, it is a is same tree. Let us try it now. Should work fine. Please work fine. Again an error. Again an error, guys. What is the error? Okay. Okay, it is a spelling mistake. Let me correct it. Let me try it now. Should work now. Again, an error. Sub tree is root left, root right. Okay, all right, guys. So here is the coding section. As you can see, I have already copy pasted the code for identical trees. Uh, this was discussed in the previous video. So if you don't follow the code, please go to that video, come watch it, and then come back because then it will be more clear to you. Otherwise, let us let us let us start coding for this problem. So I will just be writing the recursion code, right? So first of all, first I will check the current root, etc. So if is same tree 
returning true for the current root with the sub root we will be returning true return true otherwise if root left is not null then call the same function is subtree for root left and if is sub tree it is small t is subtree correct for root left with the sub root then return true then return true otherwise do the same thing for root left so i will just copy it down and change right left to right so you can see this actually equals to pre-order traversal only but just modified right now you can if all the three cases are failing neither the current root is returning the subtree neither the root left is returning the subtree neither root right is returning the subtree i don't have any choice just to return false i can just return false let us try to compile and run it should work fine i guess it is running fine let us try it for the sample uh, submit test cases also and it is running fine so thank you for watching hope you liked the video hope you were able to understand the concept and we'll meet again in a very short time till then uh, stay tuned and if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe it and any doubts leave in the comment section i will surely get back to you thank you have a nice day